What is going on Dreadheads and welcome back to another Spider-Man Miles Morales video and in today's video we're going to talk about a transgression that the sneakerheads have said that Insomniac has done in regards to Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now if this is your first time here and you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up rating as it helps out this video a great deal and don't forget for the coverage of all AAA games and gaming news this is the place to be. Over the past few days, Insomniac Games and Game Informer have been releasing information in regards to the game Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now a particular photo did get released which caused a lot of upset and uproar with a particular group of people. In the UK we call them trainers, everywhere else they call them sneakers, so we're just going to go with the term sneakerheads. And this picture, which is like you can see right now, shows Miles Morales donning a pair of Adidas high tops. Now, this is where the problem lies. There are some things that are just synonymous and feel right when put together. Take them apart and put them in something else and you might just start an upset like pineapple on pizza. For all those people who like pineapple on pizza, I'm not having a go at you, I'm just trying to make an example. As it turns out, Insomniac Games is once again in the spotlight and not for the best of reasons like this is in regards to like their depiction of Mars Morales wearing Adidas high top trainers so the Daily Bugle picture what you saw earlier depicting the two Spider-Men swinging through New York one of them being a titular Miles Morales is seen to be wearing a pair of what looks like to be red high cut Adidas superstars with Peter Parker Spidey following him closely by while to the layman this may seem a harmless move like to the average person this isn't even bothering them or even you know living in their head rent free but for those who have like loved this superhero Mars Morales and who have attached Air Jordan 1s to him have taken great upset by it. Many who have watched the movie have become sold on the idea that the Air Jordan 1s are a part of the character with even Nike themselves going so far as to produce a pair of the sneakers inspired by the movie back in 2018. But while it is easy to place the blame on Insomniac Games for not sticking to the cultural canon, so to speak, it is also worth noting that the movie and game are two separate entities despite being under Sony's collective umbrella. Interestingly, however, the companion art book for Marvel Spider-Man's Mar Morales depicts the web slinger sporting a different coat, suit and more importantly a pair of Air Jordan 1s, albeit without the Nike swoosh for some reason. Now for the fans that felt slighted at the Adidas move, this might like um, reassure them that there could be possible chance that uh, there could be a suit of some sort with the actual Air, Air Jordan 1s but then at the same time they've also seen a picture with the Adidas Superstar so they are feeling that what is going on is he wearing the Air Jordans or is he wearing the Adidas Superstars and I kind of get where they're coming from to be fair like the Air Jordan 1s are cold I think they were a cold pair of trainers when he was wearing them in the film and I do feel that it is attached to Miles Morales because every time I do see them the first thing that pops into my head is Miles now as far as shooting down a, a game developer because they can't get maybe they can't get the rights to the Air Jordan 1s because Nike maybe don't want to play ball and think you know what we're too good for the game or something like that but I do remember that I'm sure Adidas and Marvel have already done some sort of collab before so maybe it was easier for them to get the deal with Adidas than Nike for example I'm not sure but my main issue is how can you make this persuade you not to enjoy this game like the, t the tweets that I've seen people are really upset with the whole fact that Miles Morales isn't wearing the Air Jordan ones which if I was a true sneakerhead don't get me wrong I love trainers I love sneakers but not to the point that if Miles isn't wearing them I'm not going to play the game the game is more than a pair of trainers 
Miles himself is more than a pair of Air Jordans. If we even look closely at some of the footage that we've seen of Miles Morales, he's still wearing Timberlands, he's still representing New York. Like, I feel that people are, I don't know, they're still nitpicking at things to do with this game. Not that I'm trying to nitpick at this game, because no one hasn't really spoken bad about the game. It has had its upsets with the whole Ultimate Edition, the upgrade system, the whole Spider-Man PS4 remaster thing, and the new Peter Parker. You know what, now that I say it out loud, there has been a few bumps in the road, but to pinpoint a pair of trainers now, come on guys, it's not that serious. At the end of the day, we are going to be blessed with an amazing game on the 12th of November. For those that live outside of Europe and Europe, but for those who live in Europe and surrounding areas, we will be blessed with a game on November 19th. And me personally, I just want to let you, I just wanted to ask you guys, do you think that by Insomniac not adding the trainers to this game, aka the sneakers, sorry, is this a bad move? Is this going to hurt the image of Miles Morales? Or can you see past it? Because to be truthful, I do not feel that this is a big issue that the community needs to be upset about. At the end of the day, we're getting a game. And we should just respect Insomniac for doing the best they can with the, the means that they have got. I just feel that sometimes as gamers, we... We get a bit overprivileged and expect too much from developers, you know. We don't, we get upset. Like, for example, Spider-Man PS4. The whole water situation. There was a big blow-up about a puddle in a game. And I just feel that this is just one more thing that I feel people need to let go. So if you are watching this, I would like to know down below in the comment section. Do you mind that he's not wearing the Air Jordan ones? That's it. Simple question, yes or no. Put Air Jordan 1's heart if you like them or Adidas if you like them or I don't mind if you like them, whichever. And if it is your first time here to the channel and you enjoyed this content, please hit that like button as it helps out the video a great deal. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button to be a part of the Dreadhead community. Turn on your post notification bell to keep up to date with any future content. Don't forget to connect with me on all social media platforms. You can find them in my description box. And to gain access to some exclusive perks, why not become a member of the channel right now, today, go check that out. And as always, don't do what I would do, don't do what I wouldn't do, but if you have to do something, please be careful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.